Good evening. The similarities between the two stories chilling. Yeah, they are, and we have team coverage tonight and details on devices designed to help prevent tragedies just like this from happening. We start our coverage, though, with Nine on Your Side reporter Ashley Zilka. She is live outside Proctor and Gamble and Mason, where the baby's life came to an end. Ashley? Tanya and Craig, the mother is an employee here at the Mason facility, PG Mason facility. Investigators say she was the one who found her daughter dead in the back seat of her car, and we now know that baby was there for hours. The Warren County Coroner's Office hasn't seen a case quite like this in some time. This doesn't happen with great frequency, thank goodness, but I mean, usually when it does happen around the nation, it, it frequently does make the news because it is uh, such a you know, traumatic experience for the family. An infant's death that investigators believe is a heartbreaking accident. It's too early for me to say that. On appearances, it would be. Investigators say a mom found her 15-month-old daughter dead in her car seat at the end of the workday. The SUV, which has tinted windows, was parked in the Mason PNG employee lot. Roughly from early morning hours, 7.30, 8 a.m. until the discovery at 5 p.m. As of now, the chief investigator for the coroner's office believes the death was heat related. Even though it wasn't sweltering hot today, it's obviously going to be hotter in the car. Uh, and certainly a 15 month old is more susceptible to something like this than an adult. So that's the theory we're working under. Officials say it's a tragic incident and a lesson for parents. Certainly anytime something like this happens, it's preventable. It's, it's a wake up call to anyone that has children. Uh, just be careful. Now at this point, no one has been charged. Officials expect to learn more tomorrow morning after the baby's medical exam is finished. Reporting live tonight in Mason, Ashley Zelka, not on your side. Ashley, thank you so much. It was exactly 10 years ago today that Brenda Slaby of Sims Township left her child in, the hot, in a hot car to die. An eerily similar situation to what happened in Mason on what is a horrible day for Brenda Slaby. She did give us this exclusive statement. She says, my heart breaks for her. I would hope the community stands by her and supports her. It's not being a bad mom. It happens to incredibly loving parents. It happens to incredibly busy loving parents. Tonight, what happened that day 10 years ago and how it changed lives. On a nearly 100 degree day on August 23rd, 2007, disaster. Brenda Slaby left her daughter Cecilia in the car for eight hours. Nine on your side anchor Julie O'Neill was the first to interview Slaby and her husband Gary one year later. Forgetting is the worst word to think that you could forget your daughter. Um, and I've spent a year trying to figure out why. Did you think about her through the day? You know, I did. Some moms think about their children and different things. So you thought about her through that day? I talked to teachers at lunch about her. Never realizing what was going on. Slaby was an assistant principal in Claremont County, where the car was parked. Then prosecutor Don White decided not to pursue charges. It was difficult. Um, just the investigation and a tragedy like this, first thing I had to do was try and um, set aside the emotion that goes with something like this, which is difficult for me, just like this for everyone else, because I'm just like anybody else. I'm a human being. The incident and White's decision sparked debate and sometimes outrage. It was a topic on Oprah. I sat in a ball and I prayed. I prayed harder than I've ever prayed in my life. But you knew she was gone. But I knew she was gone. The Slaby case and others also shed light on frazzled, overwhelmed moms. And I don't believe that convicting any loving parent whose brain turns against them, in a sense, no good will ever come out of putting someone like that in jail. It's not going to prevent anything because you can't prevent something you didn't consciously know you were doing. Celia would have been 12 years old this year. The Slaby case was national news. It is burned in the minds of so many parents in our community and beyond. I know it is burned in mine. It has also led to the creation of technologies and devices to alert you if you leave something in the car. That's right. Nine on your side did some research tonight. We found four different devices that are designed to prevent hot car deaths. Here are 
some of them here. The first is sensor safe. General Motors has a rear seat reminder system and there's also something called the driver's little helper sensor system. By the way, the traffic app Waze that many of you use also reminds drivers to check and see if their child is still in the back seat before getting out of that car.